guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, the October 18th, <laughs> I think. Do you see my sunburn? I got sunburnt across my forehead, my nose, and my cheeks a little bit at the pumpkin patch yesterday. I when you we usually are really good at taking our sunblock with us, and we just forgot it yesterday, and I didn't remember until I could already feel it burning. But luckily, it was just me. Devin and Jesse did not get burned, so I guess that's good. And it's not too bad. It's just a little one. Anyways, I got a little bit of a mail haul to share with you guys today, and also a little tiny yarn haul <laughs> that I purchased. But I have another Halloween card that I got today from Summer. I got it Summer. I opened it, and it has stickers in it. And now I don't know what the heck I did with it. I went and looked in the car and I didn't see it, but it may still be in there. I might have dropped it in between the seats. I looked all over the house. I don't know what to do with that card. I just got it today too. <laughs> uh, I'll find it and then I'll show it when I find it. But I did get it somewhere. <laughs> I just misplaced it somehow. Pregnancy brain. All right, so I did get one Halloween card the other day and I wanted to share it. It's from Rebecca. She is yarning pajamas. I'll link her channel below if I can remember to. So this is a cute. It says, wishing you a Halloween that's frighteningly fun. It's so cute. I could always expect a Halloween card from her and from Summer. And on the inside it says, and happy haunting memories when the night is done. And that's a cute little ghost sticker. And it's, she's Rebecca from Yarn and Pajamas. I'll link her below. I love her cards she always sends and I love her videos. Everything she does is just so cute. She makes the cutest gnomes ever. She gifted me one for my birthday, and it's in the living room. And she just recently gifted somebody one. I just watched it. Oh, it was Angelia at uh, Crocheting House Mouse. She gifted her one that looks like a little Frankenstein. So, thank you for the Halloween card. I'll put that on my mantle. It's so pretty. It would be pretty framed. I said about all my cards. If I framed all my cards, my house would be just wallpapered in them. <laughs> but I do keep every piece of mail I've ever gotten. It's just in a big old tote, and I go through it every now and then. Anyways, and then I also got an Amazon package from my registry, my baby registry, at my sister's. I had to go by my sister's house to get the shirt she made me for Halloween, which I will show you because it's right, it's hanging right here. Let me grab it. This is going to be my Halloween costume when we go to the trunk or treats and all that. <laughs> so it's a skeleton. It's got a glittery uh, red heart, and then it's got a little baby with a glittery bow. She made this on her Cricut for me. I love that she's got Cricut because now she's making us all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so I love that. It's kind of big because I, I wasn't sure how pregnant I would be around Halloween, you know. And so I got a men's 2XL. I probably should have got a XL, but I can tie a knot in the bottom of it to give it shape. I'm not worried about that. But uh, yeah. Anyways, my sister made that. So in the baby registry, this is from Susan, and she she bought us the little baby uh, bath cloths. It's kind of messed up in the packaging. <laughs> the cute little girl themed bath cloths. I love these little things. We still have some of these left over from when Jesse was a baby that I use on him on his face because they're so soft still after all these years. I use them for his little when I wipe off his face. So now these ones are for new. I can't wait to give her baths. And also got, this was on my, one of these was on my registry, but the one that was on my registry was sold out or like out of stock. And so I guess Susan uh, seen that and she went and just purchased another one from Amazon and sent it along with the cloths. And it is a touchless thermometer. It's one of those that you hold up to your forehead. And it does say on the box that it is for people of all ages. So it's not just for baby, even though it's branded for babies. So that's great. So that means I can use it for Jesse too. I already opened it because I was curious <laughs> about it. But it came in a nice little bag. And here it is. It's one of those that you hold up to your forehead. <laughs> kind of feels like you're racing your memory like on um, Men in Black. But it's nice. It works. We tried it out and uh, it's awesome. It'll be so much easier taking her temperature as a baby than the other ways. Because goodness, it's hard to take a baby's temperature either in their little bottom or under their armpit. And then as they get even a little bit older and you start doing it in the mouth, it's hard. Like even now, Jesse, it's hard to take his temperature in the mouth because he, he either talks the whole time or he uh, doesn't keep it under his tongue. So that's awesome. So I'm going to put this back in this little box and get it in there. So that's awesome. That's a great gift. That's awesome. 
I love this because it's like a needed thing. <laughs> but so thank you so much, Susan, for those from our baby registry. Now my little tiny yarn haul. <laughs> we went to Walmart. I had to get some candy to uh, make little treat bags for Jesse's kindergarten class. I'm actually gonna do that here in just a minute. It's kind of hard picking out candy because you have to find candy that doesn't have peanuts in it <laughs> and things that's not choking hazards because you know I don't know how good some kids are at chewing their food. So um, I think I got some good ones. I don't know. But anyways, I just picked up two more balls of the jumbo. It's super Red Heart Super Saver jumbo stripes and the colorway is bright stripe. I picked up two of these because I already have two in my stash and I want to make a cardigan. <laughs> I thought this would be really awesome looking cardigan. I love bright colors and black also so and it looks so good the contrast does and they've been sitting on my shelf forever and I've been trying to figure out what I want to make with it so today I just decided to grab two more of these so I can make a cardigan. And so now if you have any favorite cardigan patterns link them below for me <laughs> or let me know what they are because the only one I've ever made was the everyday cardigan by Sorella which is a great pattern. I love it. And uh but I'd like to try another one too. But you know, if I can't find one I like enough, I'll just go back to that one because it's a good tried and true pattern. So uh, that's my only yarn hole. They have 400 and something, 482 yards each. So I got four of those. That's enough to make me a cardigan in the size that I wear post-pregnancy. <laughs> uh, hopefully, <laughs> we'll see, I guess. It is a number four worsted weight. It's just so pretty. I love that yarn. That's all I got. <laughs> I uh. I want to buy more yarn, <laughs> but I'm trying not to. I see yarn hauls all the time, like Heather and stuff, buying really pretty yarns, and I want to buy it, but I don't have a reason to. So I'm trying hard to use up my stash, and uh, then I'll go from there. Once my stash starts getting depleted, I can then start random buying again. But I'm trying to just use up what I got <laughs> and go from there. But yeah, so that's my little haul today, just some mail. And I gotta find that card. I could have sworn I brought it in the house. We, we took Jesse to school. He finally went back to school from fall break. We went to Walmart because I had to pick up that candy. And I got the yarn. We also got uh, a couple other things. Je Devin got some green onions because he wants to make some potato skins. And I got a pot roast <laughs> a meat because I've been craving one so bad. And meat's kind of expensive, but um, I got it anyways because I'm going to make it maybe tomorrow. And we got a Christmas present for Jesse. Let me get that because that's a hobble too, I guess. Don't tell Jesse. <laughs> so we got this. This is on his Christmas list. So he's got the Mario one and a bunch of the the add-on sets. But he's been wanting this one since it came out. And it's expensive. It was uh, $60. But it's Christmas gifts. So, and I got more of them up there. I got to wrap and put up. Because he knows they're up there, but he can't see them. He was trying so hard one day to get up there. They're more. They're actually clothes for the little Lego Mario and Luigi. I got them at Kohl's with my Kohl cash. And then I purchased one that was on clearance there. But yeah, so I gotta get that wrapped up and hidden. I got a present already for him in his closet hidden that I gotta wrap up. It's uh, just little action figure things. So I'm trying to slowly purchase his list because normally I'd have already had it done by now. But just so much stuff's been going on that we haven't gotten Christmas done with and it's stressing me out a little bit because normally we get it done before Halloween. I mean, technically it's before Halloween. Jesse's the only one we're buying physical toys for this year though because everybody else just wants money or gift cards. <laughs> so that's easy. But, um, I got a couple more things on his list that he wants. I got it. I want to get him the Bowser Castle. It's a hundred dollars. So he's, this is going to be his last year getting a bunch of crazy toys because next year he'll have to have a sister to get stuff for too. But, uh, and there's a little robot snake thing. I can't remember what the brand is. We look, we were looking for it at Walmart today, but they didn't have the snake. They had a spider and some fish. I want to give him some of the fish too for his stocking because um, they're like robot fish that actually swim and I think he'd like that in the bathtub. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. This is supposed to be a mill haul <laughs> and a yarn haul and a Christmas haul. <laughs> but yeah, so Jess is getting this for Christmas. He's going to be super excited. He loves Legos. That's all he wants for Christmas this year. I keep asking him and he just keeps saying Legos, Lego sets. And he's already got thousands of Legos. He spilt them the other day. I didn't get mad at him though. I calmed down <laughs> and me and Devin just helped him pick him up and we went on with our life, but it was a mess because they're in a big tower of drawers, little three drawer things that stacked up on each other. And it was a mess, but we got most of them. There's probably some under the couch and underneath the TV stand, but they can just live there until we move 
and I clean it out from underneath there because I'm not moving any of that furniture until after the baby's born, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to hop off here. That was my my uh, my little haul. So thank you so much, Susan, for the baby gifts. And thank you, Rebecca, for the awesome card. And thank you, Summer, for the card. I did see it, and it has stickers in it. And I don't know what I did with this darn thing. It has to be in the car. I didn't take my purse today. Devin drove, so I just left my purse at home. And we came straight home, and then we watched Nightmare or not my Christmas. Nightmare on Am Street. Four. And then I came here and started sewing. I don't know what I did with it. It's somewhere. <laughs> I'll find it and show it when I find it. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna hop off here, and I'm gonna vlog a little bit because I'm gonna make these little kitty bas uh little treat bags for the kids. And, uh, and then I'll see you guys in another video soon for crochet related stuff. And I'll see you later today for a vlog. <laughs> Bye guys.